Hey y'all, Mark here. And Martha. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the Sharp family. family. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of cleaning along with giving you guys a house tour of what the house is looking like at this moment. And along with decluttering some of our clothes. Stick around and I hope you enjoy the video guys. That means okay. eat it, Bubba. Is it still hot? Hey, y'all. Hope you're all having a great day. Just uh, it's the morning time, and I want to share with you guys what I do in the morning. And when I wake up, Ezekiel's usually running around with me right here. And uh, but first thing I do is I get the sunlight on the plants, and I try and sit down and read and get my water drink. But uh, I want to share with you just a reading out of Ecclesi Ecclesiastes 1. All right. And you can grab your Bibles if you want and read along and, or read later if you want. Here we go. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 1. The words of the preacher, the son of David, king of Jerusalem. Vanity of vanities, saith the preacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit hath a man of all his labor which he takes under the sun one generation passes away and another generation comes but the earth abides forever the sun also arises <clears throat> and the sun goes down and hastes to his place where he arose the wind goeth toward the south and turneth about unto the north it whirleth about continually and the wind returneth again according to his circuits all the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Unto the place whom unto the place from whence the rivers come, thither thither they return again. All things are full of labor, man cannot utter it. 
The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. The things that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Is there anything thereof it may be said, See, is this new? It hath been already of old time, which was before. There is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. I, the preacher, was king over Israel in Jerusalem, and I gave my heart to seek and search out by wisdom concerning all things that are done under heaven. This sore travail hath God given to the sons of men to be exercised therewith. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, it is all vanity and vexation of spirit. That which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. I communed with mine own heart, I communed with mine own heart, saying, Look, I am come to great estate and have gotten more wisdom than they all, than all they that have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart had, gr yea, my heart had great experience of wisdom and knowledge, and I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also is vexation of spirit, for in much wisdom, much grief. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. So I encourage you guys to pray and to get into the Word of God and to help ask for understanding, help ask for knowledge. Never stop seeking knowledge. Never stop learning. It's an amazing thing, and it's something that we are able to do here where we live in the United States. We can open God's Word, we can read, we can pray openly, we can do all that stuff. So I just encourage you that you do that more, and I hope that you ask God for uh, knowledge and understanding so He can help you throughout your life and your journey. And uh, I thank you guys for coming along. I hope you have a good one. What? They're not going away. They're, they're not they're not going away. Oh my goodness. What should we do? What should we do, mama? What? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful eye. Look at you. You're going so big. You're getting too big too fast, Zara. Zara, Jamila. <laughs> Zara, Jamila. Oh, she hates the hiccups. I can't help you with that one, Mama. I know. All I can do is pick you up. And that's what I'm going to do. Is pick you up. All right. Okay. That's it. But yep, that's Zora's outfit.
little bit further away from the camera like this. All right, you and Blue. Go, dance, dance, dance. Go, Blue. Go, Blue. Go, 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 go. <laughs> After that, I packed the kids and we went to go get a car wash because we love to get our daily car wash in. And we went over to Ayan, hung out for a bit. The kids got to see one another and they played and had fun. And yeah, that was a good time. After we hung out with Ayan and the kids, we went home. The kids were so tired, so they went down for a nap. And I just had some me time. Then the next day, this is in the afternoon, Mark was already at work and I did a load of beddings and now I am just making the beds. So I want to take you guys around the house to show you guys what I'm going to be doing today. So let's get to it. We had company this morning. Mark's niece came over to see Zora and visit Zeke. So she got to meet her for the first time. So we hung out for a bit and then Mark had to go to work because he works on the weekend. Happy to take Ezekiel with her on her runs and whatnot so I can get a little bit of break from him and get this house straightened up. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And I also have a lot of decluttering to do in the back in our room and Ezekiel's room too. I'm going to try to hit that today too. So I need to get rid of a lot of clothes, a lot of jackets and stuff like that. Come along with me to this journey. Oh, and I also want to give you guys a little house tour on how the house is looking, the state of the state that it's in right now.
this, Mama? Go let your mother. The hiccups is getting you. The hiccups getting you, Mama. Oh, we don't like the hiccups. Hiccups, go away. Go away, hiccups. Let's tell the hiccups to go away. Let's tell the hiccups to go away. Go away, hiccups. Sit legs.
Starting off the tour, we're going to be in the living room here. Hard to believe that when we first walked in the place, there was a big hole in the middle of the floor here that if you would have stepped in, you'd fall right down through it. Our dining room here, looking good. The two most finished rooms here in the uh, our home. We do have some crown molding to put up along the top and some baseboard along the bottom as well. Coming on over to the entryway now. Got the uh, floor doubled up underneath us there and a new door put in, sealed around. We got blues kennel in this area too. It's nice and out of the way. Good area for our shoes and coats. Yeah, so this area doesn't need a whole lot done. I do want to paint the, um, the front door black so we can match the living room TV wall. Moving our way to the kitchen here. A few more things we got to do here. We got to do some subway tile along the sink wall here to finish that up to match the other side. We've got to uh, put some trim around the window there. And then we got up above here, we got to fill in a few gaps that there are. Right in between the stove there, we want to build a little area to put some sheet trays and pans and stuff. Then we want to go ahead and uh, put down a wood floor here as well to make it match the hallway. So everything in that kitchen besides the closet we have put in because when we moved in here this kitchen was a total wreck. So now we are moving into the washer and dryer area, laundry room aka. Um, and here we have Mark's station for the leather work that he's doing right now and in this room we have that left wall 
to do, we're going to be putting a drywall up. We have to do the trim around the window, give that whole area a fresh coat of paint. Um, behind the, um, that wall where the washer and dryer is at, I want to do a wallpaper theme. And then we're moving along the hallway towards the back. We have a couple walls to finish in our hallway here. We've got some doors to put up here. This wall here on the other side of it is our master bathroom. So we're leaving that open. We got Ezekiel's room here. We have to clear out and set up for him. We got his bed right there ready to put together. Bunch of wood along that wall there we gotta use once it gets warmer outside. And then we cleaned up his closet there so we cleared up a bunch of space there. Going to our master bedroom here. This is another pretty finished room. We've got a couple more things to do in here. We got some crown molding we got to put up along the top of this room. We do have our baseboard down already. Um, our walk-in closet's a big project we got to get done. And the bathroom there. We have the bathroom entryway tarped off right now so that draft doesn't come through there because the uh, window didn't seal up too good in there. So that's gonna be another big project. We got our storage room here. All our bins that we have are labeled with what we have in them. And it's kind of an area that we need to work on as well. We're gonna be getting rid of some cabinets and bringing up some space. We wanna put in a little desk so we can have a, a little work area, you know, a little office space to work in. And this is also a way to get into our master closet. So that's another view there. All right, yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. It's a long one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, be safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Bye.